Hello guys, welcome to one last little video in this series. Um, I had forgot that after we finished our animation, it might actually be useful to export it into a separate little video file. So that's what we're going to cover in this uh, actual final video for this series now. It uh, won't take too long, so let's just jump over to the software itself. You will remember from previous videos in the series that we created our little animation, our little uh, contraptions in the background, and our little characters walking across the screen. About five seconds long. Uh, when we want to export this, at the minute this isn't an actual video file, this is just uh, stuff happening in After Effects. We want to watch this as a separate thing. We have to export it, we have to render it out. And to do this, I want you to go up to File and Export and then Add to Media Encoder Queue. Now, older videos, if you're watching older tutorials, they will tell you to go just Add to Render Queue and you can export out from After Effects itself. Um, older versions of After Effects, you can do that. Uh, later versions of After Effects, they've actually created a separate program called Adobe Media Encoder Q. More likely, you're going to be using one of the newer versions, so you're going to need to use Media Encoder Q. If you export from After Effects itself, you still can export from After Effects itself, but it doesn't give you certain codecs, it doesn't give you certain formats that you can export from. Uh, the one that we're interested in today can only be found in the Media Encoder. So if you click on Export to Media Encoder Queue, uh, it'll open up a separate wee bit of software for you. I have already done this. It takes a minute or two, so I've already got it open here. And I will bring it up. There we go. When you open up Media Encoder, you will see this wee window here. And there's a lot of stuff going on, but we don't really need to worry too much about it. After a few seconds, you will see this uh, line of blue text come up in the queue panel. You will see here we have a little bit that says H.264. This is the codec that we're going to use. This is what uh, After Effects is going to encode that video as. H.264, the reason why we want to use this one is because it maintains good quality but it compresses the file size down. So our video that is about five seconds long, it should only be a megabyte or two total. If we were to export this directly from After Effects, we would not have that H.264 codec. We would have to export it as an AVI or some other kind of video file. AVI being the default is an uncompressed video file. And that little five second clip that we're gonna export now would end up being hundreds of megabytes, if not over a gigabyte in size. Um, because it's uncompressed, it's uh, full detail, full uh, full data size. We don't want that because if you're uploading this to YouTube or anything, that's going to take far too long, we take up far too much storage space. H.264, it's uh, a codec for the MP4 file format. It's going to be a couple of megabytes for our video, still look great, and far easier to transport, far easier to upload, download, whatever you're doing with it. So, it will default to H.264. We don't need to touch anything here. Uh, we don't need to touch anything here with the, the match source. Uh, the only thing we really need to touch is here where it says output file. If we click on this, uh, I don't think it'll show up in my recording software. It won't pick up the wee window. But when we click on that, it just gives you a standard save window. <clears throat> so you pick where you want to save it to and give it a file name. Uh, let me see. I will just save it to here and uh, when you change that uh, it'll show you where you've chosen to save it all we have to do now is click this little green or little green triangle and that will export out our video you'll see down below this little bar here uh, is a little progress bar it's just connecting back to after effects it'll take a few seconds to do this and that's really it we just need to wait for it to do its thing. Now, this shouldn't take too long to export. It's just a simple little animation with a couple of effects in there, nothing too complicated. If you're doing VFX for a film and you've got loads of layers and loads of stuff going on, it could take a while for this to export, especially if it's a longer clip. So we are exporting just a few seconds. Uh, I can see here, it looks like we have about a minute left to export, but it's actually flying down quite fast. You can see how quickly that progress bar is progressing. We can also see a little preview of the animation as it's being rendered here. 
So really we just need to wait on that going. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and then we'll just come back whenever that is done. So okay, there we go. That is our little video finished at exporting. Uh, sorry you can't see it, just the way I've got OBS set up here. It's only showing the window rather than my entire desktop. Um, but it gave me a six megabyte file, plays perfectly. And that is all we have to do to export our videos. One wee thing that I'll point out now, uh, we can actually close Media Encoder now. That's us done with it, unless you've got anything else you want to export. So I'll just get rid of that. Uh, just to point out to you, so we export it out a little five second clip. If we go back to the timeline here, you'll see that my whole composition is actually uh, 10 seconds long. But my little playhead here was set to just be the five seconds I want. So when we actually render this out, it's not going to render the entire video. It's only going to render out whatever section we have contained within this little uh, playhead here with the little blue tabs either side. So say, for example, you only want to render out a tiny little test piece of a composition uh, to see how it looks. Uh, we can do that. We can just shrink this down. Add it to the render queue and it'll just render out this wee one second section or whatever it may be. So just be aware of that, that what we're exporting isn't going to be the entire length of our composition, just whatever we have contained within our little playhead here. Okay, that is everything I think I want to show. That is now this little series complete. And we will maybe move on to something else shortly, maybe start a new project, try and get something a bit more complicated. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I will try to answer as best I can. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for whatever the next video is.